and Silver Spoon here. Welcome to our second game of the NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports. This time, as the last one turns to be a victory over time for the Miami Heat, we're about to send you on the other side as the Minnesota Wolves are facing against the Suns back in Phoenix, Arizona. They're having a little bit difficult here, but will the Suns have a rally cap in to win this game? Or will this be the end of the line with a shutout loss against the Wolves on a 4 0 series? We're trying to see if there's an upper basket in between Devin Booker, Bradley Beal, or Kevin Durant. It's going to be whatever it takes in between, but we'll find out what gets in here close. And you'll see what goes in for number two. Mike Conley's with Anthony Edwards. Jada McDaniels, he's with Carl Anthony Towns. And Rudy Gobert's in center. Ben Booker with Bradley Beal, Grayson Allen with Kevin Durant, and Yusuf Nurkic is in the center. Now, for the other side of the course, I will have Terry Crews along with Wood Spoony, and finally in the center for, for the commentary crew, Ball Point Pen. And David Eldridge will be on the sideline too. Let's bring it on and find out who wins this game here on 2K Sports. Let's send you down to Footprint Center. Guys, all yours. Welcome everyone. Hello everyone, it's Terry Crews, and we're here at Footprint Center, and this is NBA on 2K Sports. It's a night here in Phoenix, Arizona, as they're about to be seeing a rematch in between the Suns and the Wolves. I'm here with Wood Spoonie, along with Ballpoint Pen, and David Aldridge here on the sideline. We got a great matchup in between, and this will be a win or go home for the Phoenix Suns. Last chance before eliminated. Now bringing a statement court to see if it's a fire up addition to get into this one. Let's see what they can do. And we're off to tip in. Here we go. Towns, he finds it here on Conley. He now has it again to McDaniels. Tries to find a pass, now find Towns. The other side, now back again to Conley. Conley, fades a shot, now finds McDaniels. 4 to 2, the arc misses the shot. Devin Booker trying to get his team back in the game and trying to force him to game 5 into this one. And Bradley Beal with the layup hit. Here's Mike Conley after a bucket score as Devin Booker with the assist. You know, just the way that they could definitely just do one is keep scoring in if you can have that one time right. Yeah, I always know that. Might be one change. Might never get that one to a lot of appearance if they can get their day done. Got for the two. It will take it in there. He will start this bucket in there for the Wolves. Devin Booker hasn't been playing here for the other team here since coming into the finals for the NBA 2K21. What a block by Gobert. Ah, oh, Gobert, I was looking at it over here. That looks like a big rejection here. Now Towns finds Conley, and the offensive foul is picked up. Nope, blocking foul. Yeah, OP on the Booker. It's first first little foul. That's what the happen is. The problem with this advantage is not turning to be the great thing. You know, the blocking is never going to be working out there, okay? they got to make sure they have that one try it up the angle, up a notch, and do it again. And now Devin Booker over the ball. Tries to roll in for the two. This is running outside as Towns with the ball and now back again to Gobert. Gobert now gets it again to Conley. Conley swings the pass now finding it again to Towns. Towns try to get it in. Gobert for the two. Rolls in and out. Now back again to Bradley Beal. There's a chance here for Bradley Beal trying to roll it into the center for two. It's good! Runs it up and in. That's the other's first bucket. Now as a second. Minnesota trailing by two. Give a go look for Conley. He finds again Towns. Over to Red, and he's fouled. That's his first personal and a first team foul for Minnesota. Sorry, secure Phoenix Suns. You know, this won't be happening to be the easier look if you're looking for Carl Anthony Towns. If you try to drive up, it's not going to be easier look to take it in. First free throw on a field trip for the Wolves will be two shots coming up for Carl Anthony Towns. 
Carl Anthony Towns is like a cat. He's a big man. All the guy of it and he's a center of the guard. He's not really like all in participating. Just won't have to make the cut. If you just do it right away, I mean you you won't be able to get this one in time. Let's do it again. Carl Anthony Towns hits the first free throw. You know, every time that happens right now, but the last bit of the game. If game one was a terrifying crush, it's not what he does. He's really trying to end it off here, but this won't be the day where you start things off underway. The takeoff is nowhere left. And he is the second free throw. Just got to make sure that Count Anthony Towns, he just really can't let that one get away from him. Here's Booker, he's on cutting, he now finds the wins. In toward the mix, and it's Brock. Whoa! Made the bucket and win that count for Kevin Durant. And he calls that one. Yep, that count the bucket, and he has one shot. Yep, there is a chance here. Kevin Durant, after a pass by Devin Booker, he just made that one easier look. But that foul, he just made that one bucket in. Great look. The first foul is called on Jaden McDaniels. He's his first personal and their first team foul for Minnesota. Suns will grab it in their first trip to the free throw line as Kevin Durant at the free throw line shooting one. And he has that one in. 5.40 left to go in the first quarter. Conley tries to give up to Gobert. Rolls it again now by McDaniels. McDaniels trying to live it over now again to Towns. Towns. Steps back for the two. This one takes the arc in there with a number two point bucket score for Carl Anthony Towns. Now Booker with the ball. Booker trying to stand back. That finds Allen. Allen trying to have it over. Now again to Durant. Durant for three. Misses from the outside. Anthony Edwards with his first rebound. That taking is nowhere luck in between. He's losing his a lot of conscious rebounds in there. But I won't say that Kevin Durant has to get all of his concentration. Has to make sure he is getting game there right. The bounce pass finds Conley. And now he's a two for Cat. Rolls in and out, and it's Beal with the rebound. Here's Durant on a takeaway, and it's a great drive. Kevin Durant finishes off with a left hand drive. Backed up, up by three. They're really getting things over. Kevin Durant on a special take. Edwards finds again, now with the three pointer for McDaniels. He will take it in. Yes, he does. Close call range in as Conley with the assist. McDaniels has his first, first three pointer of the night. And now here comes Bradley Beal. Try to pull it in. It's the flicking. That might have been off with someone's hand. In between Edwards or Cat. I think that's going to happen right now. I think Edwards got a piece of it. He must have had that first rejection in there. It might be a close call, but he's going to do to get this thing alive. Conley. Three for Towns. Misses for the outside. The Bear now finds it again to McDennis. Towns. Try to press her in there. Six on the shot clock. McDaniels with the finish and drive. On the up, he's good. Jaden McDaniels with five points and they're up ahead by two. Timeout called by Phoenix Suns with under 3.30 to go. Start things in a range here. Mike Conley and her team is on the full range to start. The better take, it's all the offense. It's just going to keep on coming in now. We'll take a little bit of a quick brief here and then we'll get right into the game. Back underway. Just really got a call for now. After the adverts, he got it. Now for some new substitutional change, as now Royce O'Neal checked in. Now for the other side of it, we have is Drew Lubanks. Man, the cross here we have is all safe for now for once. As I know on the other side of the gap is Anderson. And he's also a crossing with the other, other players here by Morris. That is Alexander Walker. And finally across from here, we just wanted to know this 
that is nowhere near as Eric Gordon's on the court. Here's Alexander Walker. Start for three, go. For outside, puts it in. 14-11 to score. There really have to be another one to try to get that bucket in there. It's just really not even easier enough in there where I need to take the score and drops in. I know it's hard, but don't let that one get uncomfortable if they get there. Here's a Koji, and he makes it in. Two-pointer back down by one. This is how to score this. Josh Koji is really trying to get this over here, and he's really not getting enough left if he wants to get through. Bear now finds again to Anderson. 2.15 left to go. Alexander Walker, three for Morris. It's good. Back there, all right, goes in. As Morris has his first three pointer of the night. We are down to a two minute mark in the zone in the first quarter of the game. And the Koji, he's up quick, goes in. On a full pressure breakdown, now finds again to Anderson. Anderson trying to pull it in now, finding again to Morris. The bounce pass to Gobert. Morris again to Alexander Walker. For the two, this one takes it in here with a seat. He has five points in this game. Now Gordon with the ball. Off again to Ubanks. Saw the Morris effort. Turns it back, and Gobert denies a shot. Morris with the ball now, finding it again to Anderson. Over and look. Gobert, bounce pass to Cap. Face the shot. Over again. Takes two times in a row. Cap to show it how you can flex things up. Well, just really embarrassable. How could ever happen? Carol Anthony Towns, this was no what happened. They were just really trying to take over with the concentration in between. Yeah, I just really don't have anything else to say about this. The rest of the teams have been scoring. This won't be uncomfortable how it happened. And whatever this is, you're never going to let that be excitable. Anderson finds again Alexander Walker. Pushes the pressure in his own near the baseline. Back step for two. And we'll put it in here. You know, that will be the number two point bucket score. He has seven points in the game for Alexander Walker. And now here's Bradley Beal. For the outside. Try to roll in for the middle. Okoji, open look, the three, no good. Morris gives it again to Anderson, now has it again to Morris. Try to roll it in, and Towns finishes off with the drive. 25 to 17 to score, it's eight points game. Now, 15 seconds, here's Durant. Gordon with the wall. Final seconds in the first quarter, Gordon. Will he tell you it up? And it misses off the target. That ends the first quarter. 25-17 to score. They're trying to drill it back, and they need to get this one catched up. We'll get to the second quarter coming up after this. Well, did Kochi just really have to be all for anybody? A takeover, or you'll be sorry. Just tuning in, we're ready to start the second quarter in, in Phoenix, Arizona. Tightness of the game, it is, but it might be another change off, and they're answering it back. They really are starting to get a lot of pressure in this one. And it's not a lot of choice offer. How could this point be a huge take? We really got to make sure they have it, uh, never broke it down. Maybe not even scoring it right in between, but they got to make sure they have it all settled in there before the time goes near. The shot misses. Gobert is with a Nurkic. We start for the second quarter as now, if Allen, with Booker, he's on Mike Conley. Reed is on Grayson Allen. Edwards is on Kevin Durant. And Alexander Walker on Bradley Beal. Six on the shot clock. Here's Conley for a triple arc range. And this will roll in the net and good. Mike Conley's first. Three pointer has five points. Really is starting to go flying fast. That's high on the range. Bradley Beal try to show it off. Bounce pass to your kick. And Durant right toward the middle. Up and layup and good. Kevin 
Here Ryan trying to enter back with a full attack zone. Back down by 10. And here's Edwards. He's over again, now finding Reed. Now finds Conley. Rolling in. Finds the number one for Alexander Walker. For two, this one will take an RC kick. Let's have 30 to 29 game, as you're up ahead by 11. Just really have to make sure this one keeps in there. Nobody likes that when their call goes in there. They're really making sure that they have it all coming in. It's not what they all do. Don't let that keep on happening. Hooker, and without a miss by Allen, as this one goes back the early as Edwards has it. 6.20 left to go. Here's Reed. Now finds again. Conley for two for Edwards and good. Anthony Edwards got his first bucket appearances in the game. And now here's Booker. Timeout call by the Phoenix Suns with only 6.09 to go in the first half. Well, got to make sure you talk things over. If something happens, got to fix it right now. The NBA Playoffs of 2K Sports is brought to you by Starry Lives. Ruffles, the official chip of the NBA. And by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Some changes for the Wolves and for the Suns. It's now now. Alexander Walker and Bear checked out, and checking in will be McDaniels and McLaughlin. Durant on McDaniels. He's up with the shot. This one will dip out, and this will be their pitch with a rebound and a layup in. Here's Conley, will side to stick it over, again to Reed. Reed gets again to McLaughlin. McLaughlin again to Conley. Three-pointer for Edwards. This was off the range outside, as now Durant's got it. And here comes Booker. Booker just gets a hands off of it, as Durant picks up the assist. Just really have to keep that one going in there. I mean, they really are trying to fire it up. Conley gives again to McLaughlin. Looks it now over now again to McDaniels. And offensive foul picks up by McDaniels. That's his first but second personal foul. Changes over to the Suns ball. Now that's a big problem now. They're really, he's been pushing his elbow in his way towards. And that happened to be as a hard takedown. And that's a great call because that's what they were really expecting to see. That one turned to be offensive foul. What a way to walk it off. Allen lost the ball and now Reeds will have it. Here's McDaniels. Finishing for two. Tries again. Open look. And this one, Bradley Beal will try to get back up. Lachlan now finding Edwards for three. And cutting puts it in. Anthony Edwards with five points and is assisted by McLaughlin. Just really make sure when McLaughlin has a good set of cut at the point, he really has got to make sure he has an open look. This offense won't be enough to get it through. Grayson Allen finishes off the three-pointer on the outside. And Conley with the ball, trying to like answer it back. The right away quick play is just a hard one that you have to beat or in a better place than not. McDaniels on the outside. Here's the take to read. Reed gets again to Edwards. Looks it over. Now finds McDaniels. Slides it back for two. That's off the mark, and it's now rebounded by Beal. Beal finds Durant. McDaniels on him. Bradley Beal trying to step it in. And this one will step over with a number two. A 35-28 game. Time on the ball by Minnesota Wolves with only 3.41 to go. Well, they just need to talk it over. They better make sure they have that one coming in at the right timing. Speaking of enough right now, Phoenix Suns have already made it all the way down to the finals. And you always know that back in 2K21, 
but the Royals seem to like their team really loves them to bring the playoffs in balance. And all the way down to the finals, it's not always an easier one you can take. Well, better possible angle, I mean, what's the world going to know? They really make sure that this one's a hard one to take and that the pressure is never going to look that easier and slow it down. They really are like a big time effort. Yes, I know. They're really making sure that they are trying to get that one in there. May not be what you're looking for, but keep that one in mind. They might be scoring big here if they can get this one undertake. Coming up later will be the halftime show as we have Ernie Johnson along with Kenny the Jack Smith and Chad O'Neill. I'll be underway here soon to get ready to get started for the halftime show after the first half has been completed. Now with some new substitutions on the court. Towns has checked back in as all five players are making new changes here. And this time, Anderson, Edwards, and McLaughlin checked in. Two players check off the court as two players are on the court. Eric Gordon and O'Neill checked in. Here's a three for Edwards. Oh, take a look here as Anthony Edwards got eight points with a three-pointer. Just really won't let that one cut in to sponge it off. Now Durant sliding it towards it and reporter for David Aldrich. He's really been knowing to see that Chris Finch has suddenly left his team to get right into their offensive routine work. Their offense may not be what they were changing in for. But how could this happen if they have no chance to move it? The world's just no way to get this thing through it. They really have no moving protection and they just didn't really want to get that one right in our way. I never know what it's going to be uh, going to go for, but hopefully it might change every time. Now, call on uh, Kyle Anderson with his first personal and her first team foul for Minnesota. We're under 2.40 left to go in the first half as Kevin Durant at the free throw line shooting two. Well, you see, I'm for frustration. I mean, he's just like in a relief. He's okay now, but hopefully this will stay in a lot better of a time night. Makes the first free throw. Now it's a new substitution as now it's Ubanks checking in for Nurkic. And he hits the second free throw. Wolves up by eight. McLaughlin now has it again to McDaniels. Now rolls it in again to Anderson. With a step and drive. Oh, what a cut here for Anderson. He's got his first bucket in the game. Now this is what that happens here. If McLaughlin's really on that one with the assist, then Anderson's going to have a lot of big drives in the game. I'm going to say now. Don't let that one happen to get the beers and number take over. Durant, this is a number two pointer. And here's Towns, he will have it over again to McLaughlin. Only two minutes remaining in the first half, and now back again to McDaniels. Trying to let it go back into McDaniels, but he decided to give it back over to Edwards, and there's a good cut about here as Anthony Edwards with another two. He has ten, tied up with Bradley Beal. Here's Gordon. Trying to show him off how he does. And put him for three. It's good! Outside, put it in the range. 42-33. Just really have to be like all careful enough now. I mean, if you get a three-pointer, I mean, you'll be a wide open mic now. Just really get that all covered in at an all-time costing it. Six on the shot clock. We're going to for two. And this one will roll in now. Booker. Sidestep. Now he finds a meal for three. This is off the range. Last touch for the Suns. That will be the Kevin Durant with under a minute to go. And now with some substitutions on the court. 
couple of players have checked in, a couple of players have checked out. As now, Anderson, Gobert, Morris have checked in. And finally, on the other side, Ramil and Durant are checked out as a coach and Ramil checked in. Here's an hour for Anderson, but he tried, gets the nine! Oh, I think that touched by an inferred air kick this time, but a Koji just felt like, I think that projection turned to be me. Well, just really got to be all carefully out now. I guess that Anderson just saw Koji, he just made that rejection in. Here's a three-pointer. Misses the target. Bear grabbing another second chance. He has five rebounds in this game. Bear, the two for Anderson. And that will be in there in a range as he has his first second bucket of the night. On down to a 30-second mark. And now back to O'Neal. O'Neal trying to roll it in. With a look. And he makes a drive. What a powwow moment. It is now a 44-35 game. Really must be saying it now. I mean, this is going to take some a lot of cue motion. But this won't have to happen at all. I mean, they really are trying to get that slowing down. Now he finds a pass again to Towns. Towns for the back step. That misses again. And now we'll end the first half. And that court misses the shot. 44 to 35 to score, and we'll take a quick break when we come back after this. A chance now to get you down to David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Thanks very much, Bradley. The old saying, no rebounds, no rings. How important is it to continue to have five guys go to the glass in the second half? Yeah, all five. All five guys. A lot of people are too worried about getting out in transition. So, uh, I think once you find a pool of guards, we all got in and out of can't score unless you have the ball, right? Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. Please stand by for the halftime show. Third quarter is coming up after this. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. Shaq is here. One half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. It's Minnesota out in front of the half. They lead by nine points. How about you, Shaq? What do you think about Minnesota? They wouldn't be ahead without the numbers they've gotten from the bench, providing major contributions, especially the offensive end. It's taking a lot of pressure off this time. It's more than luxury to have a second unit that can produce. And Kenny, what are your thoughts on Phoenix? I felt they had a lack of intensity defensively. They gave up way too many teams. I mean, somebody needs to pull out the fire because this fire is out of control and it certainly wasn't because of their defense. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks, Thanks for joining folks. us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And we welcome you back here at Phoenix, Arizona to get started for the third quarter. It's a smokeout for Anthony Edwards. He's been really like stepping in in between. And he has a lot of it right now. He has only had 10 points, two rebounds, and one assist. Yeah, it's just really amazing. I mean, what can they just sign off? How can you have Anthony Edwards do it? It's great enough to have it. Just impressive. Really impressive. Really like that. We start off the first second half as we tune us in. We welcome you back here. We start things off here. Booker, he's been funny ever side of the other range. It's right now the rain. It's been fun for Anthony Towns. Then, on the center of the range is all say Rudy Gobert on their kick. Ben Conley, he's on Devin Booker. McDaniels is on Grayson Allen. And finally, we have it here on the outside is Edwards on Bradley Beal. Edwards now finds it over again to Gobert. The spin around around and shot cut the bucket of one. Milkins with his first whistle. And our team foul will pick up for the Phoenix Suns. Well, Rudy Gobert is really terrific. I mean, oh man, how can you let that happen if that score? Yeah, you see what happens now? You know where that spin comes in? A lot. That's what you don't even realize. You don't see that one coming in there and you don't really get there. That's what he does. He gets that bucket here at the straight target weight center. He gets that one here pretty fast. 
Free throw coming up for Rudy Gobert with under eight minutes to go in the third quarter. the first uh, on the first on uh, the third free throw. Here's a pass to Gobert. Sorry to Durant. And this one goes up and in. 46-39 is the score. They're really a buck to buck brushes in between. I mean, they're wasting in between. I mean, they can't let that one score bad. Now he finds the pass back to Gobert and now he gets again to Edwards. Rolls it in. Now finds Conley. The three for McDaniels. It's good! Outside, makes it in. 49-39 to score. He has eight points. Just really have to get that one cleaned up and cleaned up. They really are pushing it in there. All right, why? Now to Rant. Allen for three. This one go back the other way. And Conley on the other side of the court. He gets it again. Now finds Gobert. Bear tries to give off to Edwards. Edwards trying to roll it in again to McDaniels. Quick ball movement for the Minnesota Wolves. Tries to roll it over, now finding it over. Edwards for three! That's a little miss by Minnesota. While there's not shooting really great enough, but this is not what goes in now. They're trying to let that one get into their own rebound, and this is not trying to be bright. This happens too much occasionally. They need to make sure they have that one with the right open look on the offense. Conley now finds again to Edwards. 550 left to go. McDaniels gives again to Towns. It's five on the shot clock. Step back for two. And this will race it in here. And Carl Anthony Towns has 10 points. He's racing it in now. Trying to be his time out there. And this will not let that encounter with anything he does. Now Nurkic in the center. This one's off. And it goes back again to Mike Conley. He has a second rebound of the night. Pass now over again to Gobert. The bounce pass finds it over as McDaniels for the three. He'll have it back. Now Conley will try to reset it over. Finds the pass now to Towns. Towns for a step in. And that goes in. Carl Anthony Towns with 12 points in this game. It is 53-42 game. Well, they really are not letting that go by. I mean, when Parliamentary Towns made a great set in there, I mean, he shows what really had happened. Oh, my! I don't know if it was my if Rudy Gobert or somebody else like that. I, that was a close call. I'm thinking that was Rudy Gobert. I must have got a projection right now, but I, I'm guessing that might be in there. So I could be. Bear, Conley for the number three. Fishing range, no way to go. Time on call by the Phoenix Suns with 427 left to go in the third quarter. All what happens now, you just really say Mike Conley has been a fire take into this offense before it's ever off to a bright start. This might not be what you were looking for, but if he takes him a lot of time perspective, I have a credit here for you. You can get it all what you want. As we have a look ahead here for tomorrow, for our next part of the week of the game, we've got the Indiana Pacers facing against the Cavaliers. That'll be the first part of the game at the Gamebridge Fieldhouse. Following along with the second game, we've got another matchup. It's the Warriors facing against the other team of the Nuggets at Chase Center. And with the next game, we have it all across for you. And this will be the next first to match it. Back at the Kia Center. And finally, the last part of this game goes to be all and all for the moment. And this will be one change up here as we will get to see the, the next one coming in here. As this one will be the only call. Pelicans versus the Fundos at Smoothie King Center for the next part of the game in between. And now they're ready to do it on our face. They're change off for the better teams and switch. They're really are making sure that they have it all coming in there with all pressures now. They just don't want to leave them here. 
reporter for David Aldridge. He's talking to one of us right now. As for Frank Vogel, he really makes Kevin Durant fly impossible. The easier one takes it in here, but he's been really making it a lot of hard ones to take. Shot to their break, but it's not what they will definitely do for to have that one coming in for a right time in between. And this is why he's the, he's the best to be the best in everything in the world. Well, maybe. So let's keep going if you get some more. Kevin Durant with the ball. Now here's Peel up again, and he slams it down. Oh, what a throwdown this is. He has 12 points in this game. 56 44 is the score. Really, I was just trying to let that fire it out already. I mean, they're really never going to let that slow you down. Durant now finds Allen. Here's a take. The Booker. And oh! Kevin Durant does it again! Get back down by 10. Really are getting a lot of breakdowns in between. I'm thinking that Phoenix might be coming back in. Here's a look. Matano now finds again to Reed. Reed. Trying to push it over. Foul is called on Kevin Durant. That's a second personal and a second team foul. Oh, watch. This is really bad. Something happened. He must have had that one with his arm and he just made that one whipped already. That's not good. It's not turning out to be easier what happened here. And this last play, it is it's really going to be a hard close. That was a close call. If there was no foul, he would have to reject that one right away. And immediately, he did not. That was too close. It just turned everything over. That was it. Now a couple players have checked out. It's where Samuel and Gordon and Koji and Eubanks have checked in. And for the Minnesota Wolves, that's now back again here in the game. Try to let Reed take one shot left. And he makes it in. 3 of 2 left to go in the third quarter. Now Gordon will try to handle it over. Trying to look over in the middle. Durant on the outside. Now finds Gordon for the 2. This one went off again, and now it's Gobert with the ball. Finds the a read. And now trying to give a pass off to McDaniels. McDaniels, cutting bound. Jumper. He'll get him back. Now finally to get to Edwards. Great ball moving for Minnesota Wolves as now Conley has it. Gives again to Anthony Edwards. Has it back to Conley. No open look for the three. And this one's off the rim again. The arrow puts in for Koji with just 2.17 to go. Spin move. Looks again to Gordon. And up and lay up and in. Time on call by Timber Wolves. He will have to talk it over with just two of nine to go. Well, they really are slowing things down. It may not be what you're calling for, but this really keeps on going. Eric Gordon, show some stuff. That's when you have that layup in there for a good drive. They're really stepping it in now. Yeah, exactly what it is. Keep on living. New line changes up here for the Wolves and for the Suns as Anderson checked in with Monte Morris. And now back the other way with Anderson, Alexander Walker, and Reed. Suns are making new changes here as Wolves we'll check down. Here's a coach and a Neil Durant moves to center and Bradley Beal moves to the point guard position. Anderson near the corner for three. That was missed again on the outside. They're back down by 10. And off again to Durant, off it goes in. They're back at by down by eight. Really are stepping it in there, but this way not be what they are expecting to see them play for. Here's Reed for the two. Solid D by Durant. Well, they're just losing his focus. They can't let that happen now. Oh, Durant! Just had that slam dunk down. This already on to the market of chain before the end of the third quarter comes to a near. While the Phoenix really are loving Kevin Durant so much, they were really expecting to see what this really turns to fight. Fight is going to let that one change for everything. Now playing Morris again, now again the Alexander Walker bounce past the McDaniels. For a two! Slide back good. And McDaniel has 10 points in this game. 
60 to 52. And Beals on Morris. Pass into Wins, and again, Bradley Beals doesn't get hit. Here, Wary are just grinding things in now. I've got 21 points. Wary now is doing a trick when coming to run. He's really getting a lot of his timing up there. Just get it going. Alexander Walker now finds it over to get to Anderson. And now for the three, Walker. Yes. Now a three-pointer for 12 points in the game. As Alexander Walker has, has it up again. 63-54 is the score as the Koji will have it within 30 seconds. O'Neal trying to battle it along. And it looks for Koji. Up with the shot. Miss again. And it's back the other way to McDaniels. Again to Reed. Reed finds Alexander Walker. Walker. Pass it now again to Morris. Ten seconds to go. Pass it. Now finds Alexander Walker. Here's a chance for a two. And he will make it in. 65-54. It's the third quarter. It's going to be a lucky wild one. I think the Wolves might be entering in the second round, but we'll find out soon enough. Well, just a big change just happened to be here. But this one, back-to-back -back scores, won't let that happen if they get there. Let's see what they do in the fourth quarter. You're watching the NBA playoffs in 2K Sports. Four quarters underway after this. Let's have a reveal for the assistant of the game presented by State Farm. Just really what they did to now, and this is what Mike Conley does. He made the fight throws. Easy enough now, and Paul Anthony Towns really made this one in there. But it's straight and sorry. May not be what you're getting there. You might have an elevator take. No matter what you do, just get into the point. We hope everybody's having fun here for game number four, but this is coming down to the end. Booker's back on Conley. Van Alexander Walker, he's with on Bradley Beal. Towns, he's with on the side of it on here on Royce O'Neal. That is Edwards on Grayson Allen, and Erkins on Gobert. Gobert slides it over Erkins, and he will take it in for good. He has a second bucket. He is rolling town for them. Well, they really are slowing down now. I mean, I don't know what they can do with this. It's not what they were expected to see this. Popping to the end. Royce Arnia with a shot, and he's fouled. Alexander Walker with his first personal and their number team foul for Minnesota. 67-54 to score. Boys are now trying to get a good game as he gets another free throw in. First free throw. The voice of Neil, he's really all into it again. I mean, I would see him if he gets it more. Well, just have to be real careful here. I mean, what happens to this voice of Neil? He's just putting a lot of mites in. Just really making sure if he gets out and into a good time pressure. He might be doing for more. I mean, we don't know. Might be where they're getting it because that is where they are expecting to see Royce O'Neill pop in there. And another two pointer has to be a carry on set without Kevin Johnson. Here's Allen up with a two hand slam down. Now a turnover to be a breakdown on Minnesota. Passing a minute mark in the fourth quarter. They're really expecting Grace Allen to let that one score. That big of a drop off is not turning out great. They can't let that one roll in now for good. And now back to Alexander Walker with five to shoot. Here's a take for the three. And good, Anthony Edwards got 13 points. 6.30 left to go in the fourth quarter in the regulation period. What they really say is to do now is just keep shooting, just keep on going. The harder ones never going to win here. And Booker with the number two. Well, Booker really is trying to battle it back. But he might see what he can do to try to let them be ball. With a layup, unable to finish the drive. But this will be Bradley Beal to take another rebound in. Alexander Walker back the airway with six minutes going by in the fourth quarter. Finds a pass now to Conley. 
Conley with his motion. He now finds Alexander Walker. Bounce pass to Gobert. Gobert with the layup. And this was about a foul. Oh boy, the Suns are having a little bit of a disrepression here. This is an RT foul for the Phoenix Suns. Well, you just saw it when this happens now. Tony Gobert trying to drive in. But that one got him trapped up. That must have been Nurkic with the foul, and this is not turning to be great what they expected to see. Yes, it's it's really a hard day for Nurkic to pop in by. I don't know what will he do, but sometimes it doesn't work for him. For most of his reason. Gobert hits the first free throw. Now a new change up here for the Wolves as McLaughlin shift in for Alexander Walker. One shot left coming up for Rudy Gobert. And he just only had one. Grayson Allen with the ball. Now finds Booker. Booker now finds him for three. It's off again. Another miss puts in for Phoenix Suns. Oh, this is not going to be a great day for Phoenix Suns. They really are missing a lot of threes. It missed the end for them. Not for anybody who liking him so far, but this has to be the end for it. We're good. Here's Gobert. Trying to give it back to McLaughlin. Here's another take for three Bradworths. And there is a foul call on Carl Anthony Towns with a loose ball. That pickoff is not really going to be good looking. They really don't have it clean enough, but they don't want that one to be left alone all the time. Time on call at Phoenix Suns. Game four will be the end of it. If they win for Wolves, then they will be moving on. For game five, the force back into this. And this will be the end of it for Phoenix Suns if they don't win this game. Well, really, it's turned to be like that. Ah, game one, that's Phoenix Suns with the win. That game two, that was again for the Wolves that have tied the series up. Then game three wants to be a closer way that they can get this one scored. That the Wolves signed again. And now, game four, I think that the Wolves are going to definitely get an extension 3 1 of this guy before heading back home in Minnesota. Yeah, I definitely would agree with that. It looks like we aren't going to do it at all. Then game four, we have it across here, and we'll stick you around here for the mix and magic for tonight's game. After the other game on the other side here, we'll be determined here for another part of the matchups, right in between the most alley of the groups and we'll try to find out what they've got there are cavaliers and pacers first part of the game game four and then the then the pelicans versus against the thunders and finally this will be at the 10 30 game night that will be warriors and nuggets after the knicks and magic for game four now here they go again as they give it out to Terry DeLulwich as he will have another report here. This time he talked to one of the ever uh, players in between. It's a Booker. Really trying to like fight for her off. But he and Danny are just trying to lose it off. But this no effort is no strange to danger. They really are making this one a hard one to take. Well, perception is. There really is no exclusion. There really had no cuts to make in between, and they really are making this one a lot harder than they are trying to. Play it off again. But this may not be coming to be a close game, and every long the way step inbound by the playoff position, now they will have to like leave it off alone at every game clauses. Because of this moment, they really don't have anyone to get in through. It's hard now, but don't let that one keep on holding down. And that misses again. Gobert well, gives it again to Conley with 4.13 left to go. Conley now finds again over to Towns. Towns rolls back again with a layup and good. Curl Anthony Towns with 14 points after assisted by Conley. 
while the fans are growing silent right now, they're having a little bit of a hard time and I don't know what will happen because Phoenix signs are messing things up. I mean, they do really well, but that part in now is just not turning out because the defender is getting blocked and rejected. This is really going to be a little bit bad out there, but I don't know what will they do with that. All of them get sent close, no sorry. Now back to McLaughlin, backing over again to Gobert. Bear up for two. This one's off the rim. Now back to Nurkin. Here's an early look in for Bradley Beal. Off to Booker. Behind him is Conley. Three for Booker. This one's off the rim again. Oh boy, they're missing a lot of three pointers for Phoenix Suns. Just only three minutes in the final. Final three minutes in the fourth quarter. Edwards on the outside. Now has it over again. Now fighting Gobert. Gobert over Nurkic. It's good. Another one puts up for the two. It's nine points for Rudy Gobert. Just really spotting. I have no idea what goes in now this way. They really have that one left alone, but the open wide range is no defense to pick it up for the offense. They are really not expecting what they were really doing. But all that matters, it doesn't mean to anybody that let them leave alone. Towns try to roll over again to Kali. Sidestep it now finds Carl Anthony Towns. For a jumper. Fade away shot no good. Two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Two Off now to Booker. And Booker will have a two. Timeout called by the Minnesota Wolves with under two minutes. 77 67 to score. Booker flying back in there, trying to advance to game five. Ball may not be what the die is, but Booker, what a set fade. Religion takes it off. Really make it off? Comfortable way to get there. The NBA playoffs on 2K Sports is brought to you by your local key dealers, the Moment Man Spires, Sour Batch Kids, Sweet Sour Gum, and by ATT 5G. Connecting changes everything. While we have a moment, let's reveal your safe New Balance player of the game. Rudy Gobert. Tallest center just keeps on climbing down. Just really turned it great. You know, I love that. That Philly event for Rudy Gobert has been like driving nuts everywhere. You're really expecting to say that he has been like a true fantastic player. Let's get that one with this better rejection. I don't know if you can call that an in there, but he's like getting in there at all time. Now tries to roll in, Towns rolling over now, finding Edwards. Takes the three, and that's good. Anthony Edwards with 60 points. 80 to 67 to score, and we're nearing the 90 second mark of the game. Booker, finding a watch out for the screen. In toward the middle, this was another missed year. Rigo Bass got not 11 rebounds in the night, and now it's Conley with the ball with under 90 seconds. Now McDaniels will have it. Looks the pass, now finding Gobert. Here's a tier three for Conley, and good! That was up in a range, 11 points over with 83 to 67. Just really making sure that this one really kept it going. Better range or not? Sorry. They really are not even like getting back into this guy. And they really are ending it up. And it's Nurkic with a slam dunk down. But it's now an 83 69 game with one minute to go. Time ticking down right now. I think we'll have to let it the ju clock juice down. Now finds Edwards. Rolls again to McDaniels. McDaniels finds it over now to Terra. Tall counts. Robin Towns for Shea. Edwards for three. And this one is off the rim. This goes back to another way for Nurkic. Time is ticking down already. Booker 
Three two. Misses again. McDaniels with the rebound. Now finds Edwards. Trying to let the team go back down by zero. Yeah, another take for Towns. Off to McDaniels. Kylie. Trying to go for two. Edwards. Let it fly. And that is over. Minnesota Wolves, 83 to 69 is the score. And that will all do here. I know. Big disappointment here in Phoenix, Arizona. No wins for the Suns. At this point, it turns to be the end of it. Well, just really have to do it. Try hard, get better. It's just what they do. Get going, get it done. Let's send you down to David Aldridge on the court side. David, who do you have? Hey, thanks a lot, Carl. A lot of players got in on the action offensively. When you get it rolling as a team, how good can you be? Uh, I mean, it's also you know, a good chance to keep uh, the defense guessing. We did a great job of that tonight. Uh, you know, we did a fabulous job. We let our defense be our offense tonight. And that's uh, when we were at our best, that's what happens. It certainly was great on the floor tonight, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. All right, David, thank you so much. And that ends the game with Terry Cruz along with Woods Bruni and, of course, with the ultimate save for Ballpoint Pen. This has been a presentation of the NBA Playoffs in two days sports. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful evening, everybody. See you all later on the other side for NHL. All right, thank you so much here. And now it's time for three for tool statistics scores. 55, 57, and 71 percentage in free throws, three-pointers, and field goals. For the Minnesota Timberwolves, Ben, fast break points and points in paints was 10 and 48. For the Phoenix Suns, 9, 23, and 29. Second chance points and bench points and assists was Minnesota. Six offensive rebounds was even up. And then it was defensive rebounds that had to be 24 for the other side of the Minnesota Wolves. One steal, just even. Four blocks, that's Minnesota, with two turnovers with three points off and three team fouls released. Six dunks for Phoenix Suns. Ben 16, biggest lead with 19.25 for Minnesota of time possession. Really well done. It's now 3-1 series, Minnesota. Now, I send it over to Silver Spoon. All right, thank you so much. Third star of the game now starts things up here and we get ready to have a time. It's Anthony Edwards with 16 points, with two rebounds, three assists, and one steal. Six out of 13 field goal range, four out of eight three-pointers. With 23 performance effort, he really had that one suffered in there, but not for so long. He just made that one quick and easy. Now for over to you, number two. Number two is going to be Bradley Beal. 14 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists, 1 steal, 7 and 12 field goals, and only 22 performance ever with only 1 dunk. He's fantastic. Yeah, definitely true. Make it feel that proud. Bradley Beal, show him what you can finish for. And now for your number one star, I'll say hello to one of the best. This might be what you called for. It's Kevin Durant with 21.6 assists, 3 assists, 9 out of 14 field goal range, and it was only just that, 22 performance effort with only 2 dunks. Well, I guess that's going to be a wrap. Yep, yeah, definitely show. If you enjoyed this one, please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Plus, you can also check out here on our social media on Instagram, X, and TikTok. Everything is all linked into the About page. For that one being said, peace out folks for a while as the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports style. Alright, thank you so much sir. Hershey Kisses Invitational. I mean, what am I actually saying? Timber, uh, like Timberwolves? Or is it like something different? Oh, right. <laughs> I, I get it now. But anyway, thanks for watching. Peace out folks for a while as the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports style. This is Son of Beast and Silver Spoon. Adios, amigos. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.